Okay, here we're going to graph two periods of the function y equals 4 times cosine x. And the period for cosine x is equal to 2 pi. So what I like to do when I graph trig functions is, first off, I like to find the period, or I should say for uh, sine and cosine, I like to find the period, and then what I like to do is to divide that into four equal parts. So 2 pi divided by 4 will equal pi over 2. And what I do is I, I use these values as my increments when I mark values on the x-axis. So, okay, so what I mean is here's a, you know, x equals 0. I'll move over. There's pi over 2. I'll move over another pi over 2, which would put me at pi. And let's see, if I go over another, I'll have 3 pi over 2. And then I'll have 4 pi over 2, or 2 pi. Let's see, so 1 pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 4 pi over 2. We'll have 5 pi over 2, 6 pi over 2. Um, let's see, so 6 pi over 2. Well, 6 pi over 2 is just going to be equal to 3 pi. Then we would have 7 pi over 2. And then we would have 8 pi over 2, which would be equal to 4 pi. So that'll give us two complete periods. Okay. And now, you know, what you can always plot a couple points. So if x is 0, cosine of 0 is equal to 1. So you'll have 4 times 1, or you'll get 4. So here we are up here at 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, uh, the x, the coordinates on the x-axis are not going to be the same as the coordinates on the y-axis here, so not exactly to scale, but, uh, you know, reasonably close. And then what's going to happen is, so that's going to be the highest point that cosine touches. So the reason why I like to divide these into four parts is when I go to the next increment, that's where cosine is going to hit the x-axis. And then at the next value, that's when we'll be at negative 1, 2, 3. We'll be down at negative 4. So I'm going from positive 4 to 0 to negative 4, back up to 0, and then I'll be back up at positive 4. And that'll roughly be a little sketch of one period of cosine. And now I just repeat this again. So again, this is why I mark them off in fours. I kind of get the, the high point the midpoint, the low point, uh, back to the midpoint, and then back to the high point. So it'll go at 5 pi over 2, it'll be 0. At 3 pi, again, we'll be back at negative 4. 7 pi over 2, I'm back at 0. And then at 4 pi, you'll be back at positive 4. So that would be two periods of y equals 4 times cosine x. And again, you can always plot points, uh, do other things to make sure that the graph is exactly what you want. But again, sine and cosine, I take the period, divide it into 4. That's what I use as my increments. And then I just start uh, you know, putting some points down. And again, uh, just connecting them with those curvy, curvy cosine uh, lines.